away from goal, couldn't score from there. Trying to find McConville, oh, just about got him, what a great mark. McConville led out beautifully. A very versatile player. And McConville, as we watch that mark again. It's in replay, the only play to look like taking the mark was Peter McConville. He's directly in front of goal, 30 metres up, shouldn't miss from there. Have to wait on the goal umpire, but I think it's good, it is. McConville's first goal and Carlton increase their lead. Carlton 4 8 3. Marks and 18 possessions to Mark McClure. Wobbles the punt kick up towards the full forward position. And to Mark McConville, I think he's the man to come down with it. He's not playing a bad game either now. Although Crockett did an excellent job uh, in that first half, but uh, you, you just can't expect uh, a young, inexperienced player to contain them. You see that now the North Melbourne defenders were trying to punch the ball away, but not equal to it. And what's he done with that one? It's a goal. And so McConville putting through his second goal. Close to the boundary line, but he gets around Hodgman. Up the centre wing. Ramsey and Buckley. Who's going to win out here? Ramsey and Buckley still going. Buckley gets the front posse and well played by the Carlton veteran. Buckley on the McConville. A goal here would put Carlton only one point behind. McConville shoots it. Goal. And puts it through. Was it touched? It's a goal! <laughs> That's his third. One point the difference in the event. Good football too. The ball being taken away by Fury up to the half forward zone. Good mark by McConville. McConville a chance to play on now. Gave it to Alvin. Alvin is with a torpedo. Tommy Alvin has had the better of Ablett today. There's no question of that. A good solid bump by Ablett, however, on Blackwell puts him down. But McConville is there. And here's Ashman again. Now this man has a problem because there's Ablett receives from Yates and goes with a booming punt. Reed and McConville fight this one out. And it's McConville who'll be paid the mark at centre field. Into the 21st minute here at Prince's Park. Curl Curly Austin bringing the ball back into play. Carlton, of course, without Bruce Duell and will be for some time. Mark to McConville. I notice that Stephen Smith is playing at centre half. teammates that time. Carlton looking good at the moment. And there's the kick now. Well, the kick will be coming up in a second. We see McConville take that mark. It never looked in doubt. He's only about 20 metres out from goal. And it's a goal. So Carlton move on now to four goals. One, 25. To North Melbourne, one goal, two eight points. Certainly did. The ball back into play again. Flying high. That Oh, there's not a mark. McConville. Well, they're flying for marks and taking them out, running them. With a few good players they've had up to this stage of the match. Ah, oh, great mark to McConville. Never looked like dropping that one. And McConville would be uh, 35 metres out from goal on about a 45 degree angle. Watch it again. Watch him come from the side. Never looked like missing it. Still 44 points the difference, but this could be, could make it 50. He should kick this one, McConville. Usually a pretty good shot for goal. There she is on its way, and that's a goal. That's goal number two to McConville. The player running, elects to take the kick himself. He wobbles a punt towards McConville, who takes it. Oh, danger here for the Cats. McConville has not scored a goal today. But plenty of his mates have. McKenzie, two. McClure, three. Road, one. Murphy, Reese Jones, one. Ashman, two. Blackwell, one. Sheldon, two. And now McConville. 
one. And the Blues are looking good. 14-13, plays 10-6 on Sevens Big League. It's uh, Mark Williams. Surprised himself when he took the grab. Can he get his kick? Yes, just in time. Up towards half forward. McConville's in front. And he takes a clean grab. He hasn't taken a lot of those today, but we certainly know that he's very capable. You can take it out of the middle. Well, Meldrum decides he'll soccer it off the ground. He's in absolutely everything. Gets it across to Mark Williams. He goes up towards half forward, and a good mark is taken by McConville. Well, he had trouble holding them in the first half, but uh, the second... Still only about 15 metres from the Carlton goal. Walsh and McConville. Walsh is too tall. McConville, though, good hip and shoulder. Bump, shoots, and goals! Oh, what a shot. Used the body superbly. Walsh was in the box seat. McConville outmaneuvered him and put through a beautiful goal. Carlton's 15th. 15-9 to 7-5. Johnston's kick. Good long one. Trying to find McConville. That's a good mark. McConville the flyer. On the 24 and a half minute mark. 113 plays. 62 in favour of the Blues. Oh, there's a good mark. A great mark taken there by McConville. And a chance to put the Blues further ahead. This will be a pretty short quarter, I should imagine. McConville's already kicked one goal. They've had a nice thrashing here today. And they'll be a pretty happy team over there in the Carlton rooms after the game because it's been a long time between drinks as far as uh, beating Eston is concerned. But this has been a very convincing victory and it certainly would give a lot of encouragement to other teams that have to play the Bombers. Later on, this there's another goal to McConville. And uh, the scoreboard moves on to Carlton, 18 goals, 11, 119 to Eston, 9 goals, 8. Square is going back to take the long kick, not a goal, he's up for McKenzie, he's gone. Oh, McKenzie, yes, that's a mark for mine. No, he said no, but it's a goal, kick by whom? It's been kicked by McConville, but I thought that was a mark to McKenzie. I reckon he had three touches on that and brought it to ground. The umpire said no, and take the mark. Here comes Hunter. Oh, well picked up. Here's a goal coming up. You can back this one in. Good pass by Hunter. Good mark to McConville. And look where he's got the ball. Right on the end of the ten. You know, it yeah, amazes it's me how Richmond could possibly leave James Strawn and Landy out of the side today playing against a good side in Carlton under these conditions. All they have, and that's all there is to it. McConville goes the goal, puts it through, and Carlton to Johnson. The left foot shot's close. No, it started off that way with Harms. No, he was in it, but it's been taken at the back of the pack by McConville. Harms was in there, but McConville took the mark. Saw Harms going up. He thought he was going to take one, one like he took in the first term. Oh, yeah, great to... overhead, uh, Harms. And so is uh, McConville. And he's starting to get back to a bit of form, Peter McConville. Once he starts taking marks, that's danger. He's had six kicks as he fires at goal. And he's put it through. 11 goals. It was early, about halfway through. A long time between goals here. Corker Mealis with the ball. Going up to the uh, wing position. Johnson there, a chance for Carlton. Tried to get it out to Buffy. Hand pass comes out to Alvin. Alvin looks downfield. Fraser Murphy to Johnston. Johnston gets it around to Buckley. This could be a goal coming up. McConville's fourth goal. Yes. Oh, poor kick, but it got through. One, and we've only been playing 19 minutes into the third quarter, Jack. And, and here they go again. They're on their way again. Ashman misses that one, though. Richmond have a chance to go forward. McKenna couldn't take it. Fraser Murphy hand passes into McConville. McConville's only 20 out. He shoots on the left foot. I think he may have got it. Another one. It's raining goals at the MCG. McConville kicks his foot off the ground. It wobbles forward. Kicked off the ground by Buckley. A point! Oh! A greater mark. Yes, that is a good mark by Peter McConville. Is that a fair quarter? Down as Alvin receives the hand pass. Long in towards McConville at the back, and he's got it. Now, Sandy, when Alvin took that hand pass, his opponent, Mike Richardson, was 55 metres away. McConville, a chance for the Blues' fifth goal. Hugh Dangle, swinging back, he's guided it. A great goal to Peter McConville, read it beautifully. Just as well you didn't call it in running, Sandy. <laughs>